2019 novel coronavirus outbreak is eerily similar to the 2002 SARS epidemic. Back then, SARS swept through the region, infecting some 8,000 people and killed 774. Subsequent discoveries revealed the latest outbreak was caused by a coronavirus with 76% genetic similarity to the SARS coronavirus. The only difference is, compared to SARS, it is apparently less lethal but far more contagious. For every single person who is affected, it seems as if there's going to be up to three or maybe four other persons who could also be affected. Uh, so if you take 6,000, maybe there's probably at least another um, 20 or 30,000 people that are out there. And these are very conservative estimates because the numbers are likely to be much more exponential than that. The 2019 novel coronavirus is very unusual because it seems to spread much easier between both of us, between individuals. Simply coming close or talking, you may actually spread the infection not like SARS. Early studies suggest that the incubation period of the virus, that is, from the time of exposure to the time when signs and symptoms begin to show, is about five to seven days. It looks likely that patients or carriers of the virus can infect others when they are asymptomatic, meaning when they don't have signs of being ill. The scenario seems different in the case of SARS, which appears to have lower infection rates. Infection of patients with SARS happen best in the second half of the illness, after the first seven days. In other words, if I fall sick and I can confine myself in the first seven days, I can effectively prevent the spread of the virus to the next person. But 2019 novel coronavirus is different. You can actually find the virus in people who have no symptoms and it's postulated by the Minister of Health in China himself that these asymptomatic individuals can spread person to person and we don't even need to wait till the seven days before symptoms onset. Disease may spread even before the onset of illness. This allows the virus to propagate very quickly across large swaths of area, many, many people. At the heart of all containment strategy is the understanding of what doctors call the pyramid. At the tip of the pyramid, you have the persons who are symptomatic. Then you have people who are, you know, less symptomatic. And then you have the asymptomatic, big, huge chunk at the bottom of the pyramid. If you focus only on the iceberg at the top, you are going to get hit by what's below. Medicine has taught us with limited resources, you only treat those who are the sickest. So the sickest will get admitted and this will be the top of the pyramid. And what we are seeing perhaps are just the top 10-20% of the patients. And for the rest of it, 80% we are not seeing, we are not treating, we are not quarantining. Instead, we are releasing them back into the public where they can in turn reinfect others. What we are not seeing will be the greater base at the pyramid, which are easily 40 times more than what we are seeing now. These are the ones where there are active propagation of the virus. In a bold and unprecedented move, China put the city of Wuhan with a population of 11 million people under quarantine. All roads to the city were sealed off and public transportation was shut down. The lockdown was expanded to the larger Hubei province with some 60 million people. And I think that they could only do this in China. And the fact that the Chinese government officials did it tells me they were really desperate. And you can imagine, people are left to die inside the city with minimal or restricted aid. You can't get out. And to put it in very blunt terms, and the city is being sacrificed for the good of this nation and for the good of the global world.
the amount of spread before the uh, lockdown was unprecedented, very rapid. Many people were falling very sick and they were going to get out of Wuhan for the Chinese New Year festival, festivity. And from there, the spread will be even unprecedented. So what the Chinese government did was correct and it's the right thing to do. It seems very hard, heartless. It seems unimaginable, but it's the right thing to do.